our lesson this morning. They take the verses 19 to 27, and the, the name of the lesson is Hear and Do the Word. But, and that is the, you'll find that is the theme of the book of James, throughout the book of James, not only be a hearer, but be a doer of the word. Come on, Ronnie. James goes to explain that unless we act upon our faith, it ain't going to do us no good, Jeremy. That's right. You're right. The Bible says even the devils believe with fear and trembling. You can stand and say all day long that you believe in Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. but unless you act upon that belief, it ain't going to do you no good. You're right, right. But this lesson today comes from the first chapter. And I'd like to back up because our lesson today starts with wherefore. So that means after knowing all this, wherefore, this is what we need to do. But I would like to say really the first chapter deals with conquering temptation. The simple truth of the matter is we are going to be tried and we are going to be tempted. We are going to be have temptation to come our way. Our faith is going to be tried. Sure. And we're going to be subject to those things while we're in the world. The simple truth, James tells us how we can conquer this. And we can conquer it as all the testimonies and a lot of things have done been said this morning. As Ricky testified this morning. How are we going to conquer that? The simple truth is by the Word of God. Come on, Ron. You're right. I cannot express to you this morning, folks, how important it is oh, yeah. to read yes. and to abide in the Word of God every day. Yes. Some folks say, well, they don't need to go to church. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you, I disagree. The Bible says, forget not the assembling of yourself. Yes. And it says, we are begotten by the Word. Yes. The Word is what saves us. Yes. And it also says, man does not live by bread alone, but every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Come on, Ronnie. And it also goes to say, how can we... It says faith comes by hearing and hearing of the Word of God. Yes. And it also comes to say, how can we hear without preaching? You're right. Yeah. So therefore, we need to come to church yes. Yes. and listen to the preached Word of God. Yes, you're right, Ron. I'd like to start at verse 1 and read 27 verses in this chapter. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad. Greetings. Of course, we know at this time going on the church was being persecuted and Christians and the believers and scattered everywhere. Come on, Ron. He said, my brother, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptation. Notice what he said. He don't say count it joy if you fall. Yeah. He said when you fall because it's going to happen. Yeah. Knowing this, <laughs> that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work that you may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Come on, Ron. Now this is the verse coming up that a lot of people takes out of contact. But you can't take just verse 5. You've got to take 5 6 and 7 says for if any of you lack wisdom let him ask of God that giveth to all men liberally and up, upbraideth not and shall be given him that we can't stop there but let him ask in faith nothing wavering That's right. for he that wavered is like a wave that is the sea driven with the wind and tossed you can't stop there. Come on, Ron. Because if you're like that, says for let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. For a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Oh, my. 
You're right. Let brotherly, let the brother of low degree rejoice in it. Let the brother of low degree rejoice in that he is exalted. But for the rich he is, he is made low because of, as the flower of the grass he shall pass away. For the sun is no sooner risen with the burning heat, but it withered the grass, and the flower thereof faileth. Fall, and the grace of the fashion of it perishes, so shall a rich man fade away in all his ways. Come on, Ron. Blessed is the man who endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to him that love him. Come on, yes. Let no man, I want you to pay close attention to this, because so much of this in today's world, they want to blame everything on God. It says, let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God. For God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempteth he any man. Yes. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away by what? His own, his own lust. lust. Of his own lust and enticed. When this lust has conceived, it bringeth forth sin. And sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. Come on, Ron. Do not err, my beloved brother. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. Yes. And cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no verbalness, verbalness nor shadow of turning. Yes, Ron. He said, I am Alpha and I am Omega. The beginning and the end. Yes. He never changes. Right. There's not even a shadow of turning. Uh -huh. He's steady, he's steadfast, oh, yeah. solid as a rock. Yes. What he said a thousand years ago, Jeremy, stands the same today. Right. What he said yesterday, stand tomorrow. Yes. What he said at the beginning, right. stand at the end. Yes. There's no variableness in God. Whatever was seen a hundred years ago is seen today. Come on, right. Whatever was seen yesterday will be seen tomorrow. Yes. God changes not. Hey. Man likes to change him, but he's the same. Oh, yes. On his own, no help, none, none of us help, none of us could do it. We didn't have nothing in it. You're right. On his own, we'll beget us with what? <laughs> with the word of truth. Come he will forget us with his word. The word is so important, folks. Yes. Jesus said, I am the word. John said, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. Yes. Jesus said, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall so set you free. Yes, right. This is the truth here this yes. morning. Oh, yes. This is your power. Yes. God give you this word. And he begat us with his word that we shall be that we should be a kind of first fruits his creatures. Yes. We're his made in his likeness. Yes. We're his creatures. Right. We're made in his image. <coughs> Come on, Ron. Now, he said, Wherefore, knowing all that, wherefore, my beloved brethren. Let every man be swift to hear and slow to speak, slow to wrath. For the wrath of man worketh not righteousness of God. Yes. Wherefore lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness and receive meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your soul. God wants you to receive this Word. Have it engrafted in you. Have it implanted in you. Let it dwell in you. Oh, yeah. Read it every day. Study it every day. Let the words come out of your mouth. Yes. This Word of God. Yes. I want to give you an example. Now, <clears throat> lots and lots of times you'll find in the Bible, Jesus Christ said, Any man have an ear, let him hear yes. 
What's the Spirit saying? Yes. Now I want to use this example. Everybody here, almost I can say, knows the story about Elijah. Elijah was the man of God that had great power and walked a great walk with God. And Jezebel and the king started running their mouth. Mm -hmm. Elijah done had fire prayed down Richard and had done seen the mighty hand of God work. Right. And all the mouths of Jezebel and all the mouths of the world scared Elijah. You're right. He ran and hid in a cave. Yep. You're right. And we know the story that God said, Elijah, come out of the cave yeah. and I'm going to come by and I'm going to pass by you. Right. And we all know the story how <clears throat> Elijah stood at the mouth of the cave and the great wind came. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. A mighty wind came and it blowed the rock Come into on. pieces. And I was saying, if I was Elijah, was a man just like you and I. Come on, Ron. Had the same feelings, had the same emotions, yeah. had the same as a, as we today. And if I was Elijah, I'd say, "Oh my God, that must be. That has to be God." Uh -huh. No other power could do that. Right, man. Come on. No other power is the mighty power of God. Yes. Yeah. Blowing that hard to bust rocks in the beast. Come on, man. But God said tried to he wasn't this. in the wind. Uh-huh. After the wind. And after the wind came a great earthquake. Yeah. And I imagine. Boy, oh, that's him. Elijah standing at the mouth of that cave and that mountain shaking, uh -huh. rocks was falling, the earth was a shaking and a trembling. Uh -huh. Elijah had to God say, be him. That had to be God. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. No other power on earth. Listen, church. Yeah. But God said he wasn't in that earthquake. Come on. After the earthquake. And after that earthquake was a great fire. Oh, yeah. Could you imagine standing at the mouth of that cave and the power of God fire all over the earth? He had done experience that fire, hadn't he? Yes. Yeah, Come gotta on, be him. And he had to say, that, ain't no, that has to be my God. Yeah. Come on, Ron. Nobody else could do that. Yes. Amen. But it wasn't in the fire. Uh -uh. Come on, Ron. But after all that. Yeah, listen, listen. Whispers, Dolly, sweet peace. A still small voice. <laughs> Come on, Ron. That was God. The God that holds the power of the whole universe. Come on, Ron. That holds, has all power, oh. can do anything, whispers to you and me. Yes, he does. Yeah. Yeah. He's gentle, he's meek, he's lonely. Come on, Ron. And he speaks with a still small voice. Yes. You know who roars? Come on, yeah. You know who runs from hell? Oh, yes. Yeah. Go to Peter 5. Yeah. Peter said, be sober and be vigilant yeah. because your adversary, adversary yeah. the devil, yes. Come is on. like a roaring lion. Yes. Yeah. The world is full of noise, folks. Yeah. The devil will cloud your mind. Oh, the devil yeah. will. Yeah. But all the yeah. time the noise in your head, the devil will Yell, scream, loud, uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> do everything to try to get you not to hear the right. yeah, yeah. God. Yeah, to try yeah. to get you to hear the Spirit of God. Come on, Ron. Mm -hmm. Amen. When older call comes, you watch it. Uh-huh. Yes. Babies will cry, people will start moving, people will start talking. Yeah. Come on, Ron. Amen. The devil was trying to over talk. Uh -huh. Come on. The, the devil was trying to roar, send out a great noise. He that had an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saying. Come on, Ron. Yeah, churches. God is going to whisper sweet peace to you this morning. Yes. yes. Oh, yes. Thank you, Lord. God has all power, can do all things. He can pick his church house up and shake it. Come on, Ron. Yeah. 
But he's not here to intimidate you or make you fear him. Come on, Lord, sir. You're he's right. here to try to love you. Yes. Yeah. And try to give you peace that surpasses yeah. all understanding. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's my God. Yes. yes. Praise the Lord. You have the power this morning. Yes, come on. In your hands. Hey. The undefiled Word of God. The Word of God is powerful. The Word of God is true. Come on. The Word of God is what? Set you free. Yes. Keep you yeah. free. Yes. And guide you. Oh, yes. Very yeah. man. Yes. James said that is what saved your soul. Uh -huh. Oh, yes. Don't you think it ironic that God used put that had that put in the Bible about all the earthquake and all the story? And then and Peter he says that the devil's like a royal lion. Yeah. Uh -huh. Come on, Ron. You're right. The world folks is full of noise this morning. Amen. And it's all the devil's tricks. Come on, Ron. And it's all the devil's trying to clutter your mind this morning. Uh -huh. You're right. And we need to lay all that aside and give our undivided attention to God this morning. Oh, yes. Have you ever tried to talk to somebody when they're watching their favorite TV show. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. My goodness. Amen. That's what the Lord goes through, isn't it? Yes. Have you ever tried to study the Bible with the TV on? Yeah. Yes. Don't work. Have you ever had conversations with someone when you watch in their eyes? They ain't hearing what you're saying because they're prepared to say what they want to say. Yeah. 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 Come on. They're all getting their thoughts together. Uh, Jeremy, he's going to do one ear and out the other. Yes. My daddy used to say, ain't you got nothing between your ears to stop at when I tell you something? <laughs> <laughs> but it's the truth. Yes, it is. Oh, yeah. Any device the devil can use to deprive, deprive you of this Word of God, he'll use it. Sure. Because he knows when you get this Word of God in you, you have power. Yes. When you get this Word of God in you, you can withstand. You know his tricks. Yes. Folks, I can't express this morning. How important this Word of God is. You're right, Ron. So, but be ye doers of the Word, and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. For if any man be a hearer of the Word, and not a doer, he is like unto a man, beholding his face in a natural glass. For beholdeth himself, and goeth away, and straightway he forgetteth what manner of man he was. Yes, yes. This Bible is a mirror. This Bible will show you all your flaws. This Bible will show you all your faults. But this Bible will also show you how to correct those. Yes. If you're standing in front of a mirror, when you're standing in front of a mirror brushing your teeth or, or combing your hair, you see every blemish. Yeah. Come on, Ron. You right. see every scar. Yes. You see every hair that's out of place. As soon as you walk away from that, you forget. You don't see it. You're right. Yeah. That's why it's so important a daily Bible reading. Oh, yeah. When you walk away from the Word of God, you forget just who you are. You'll forget just who God is. Come on, Ron. You'll forget how good God is and how much He loves you. Amen. 
That's why James said, you need to read it every day. Yeah. Need to study it every day. Come on, Need to have it engrafted, implanted. Yes. Let it forever be in your mind. Hey. Let it forever be in your heart. Yes. In the last two verses said, if any man among you seem to be religious and bridal not his tongue, he deceiveth his own heart. This man's religion is in vain. Come on, Ron. Because pure religion mm. and undefiled before God and the Father to do this. To visit the fatherless, the widows in affliction, and the keep himself unspotted from the world. Amen. For this I have to say one thing. Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, set the best example. Sure did, bro. Go to Isaiah 53 and read about it. He was led to shot and slaughter and he opened not his mouth. Oh, yeah. Right. If we want to show a great light, let God deal with our adversaries. Amen. Let God work His wrath, work His justice. Be swift to hear the word. Yes. Be slow to speak. Yes. Slow to anger. Yes. Our wrath don't work righteousness with Christ. Come on. But most of all, don't let Satan cloud your mind with the noise of this world. You're right, Ron. Stand back like Elijah did and wait and listen to, listen to the word. Listen to the Word of God. Listen to what the Spirit has to say. Yes. He loves you this morning, folks. Oh, yes. Save me. He's not, he said He didn't come to destroy you. He came to save you. Amen. He didn't come to <coughs> scare you, beat you down. You're right, Ron. Scream, yell. He came, meek and lowly. He came, whisper sweet peace in your life. Sure did. If you'll just listen and allow him to speak, blot everything else out of your mind. This noise of this world, blot it out. And listen to the sweet Holy Spirit speaking to you. Thank you, Ron. Thank you.